Today, I'm gonna to open up and show you how to put together this Kitsure nine tier shoe rack. So let's get to it. It arrives in this small, lightweight box. So it looks like we've got lots of parts in here. Many of them come packaged together. So we've got ourselves a two-sided instruction manual here, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to walk through these steps. But first, always make sure that you have all the necessary parts included in your box. So you should have nine pieces of this non-woven fabric here. You should get a wooden hammer, two of these string knit gloves, 18 of these plastic holders, one hook rack, two packages of long rods, and two packages of short rods. So that's everything we need. Let's get started. So let's put on our gloves. Now we're going to start by taking one long rod from one of the packages and another long rod from the other package. And you'll see that from one of the packages, the long rods have this little knob at the end. And from the other package of long rods, you'll see that it has this little hole at the end. We're going to take those two ends and slide them together, push down on that little button, slide it over top, until it clicks together like that. Now we have one long rod combined. And we want to do the same thing until we have all 18 long rods created. Okay, once we have all 18 rods put together like this, we can move on to the next step. And we're gonna take our non-woven fabric here and unfold it, open up the ends here, and slide our long rods through them until it's sticking out a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side. And now we'll do that for the other side as well over here. And now we should have it looking like this with our non-woven fabric having two long pulls through each side of it. And now we want to do that for all nine pieces. Okay, now they should all be looking like this and we should have a pile of them ready to go. And so if you have them all, we can now move on to our next step, which is taking our plastic holders here, which is taking our plastic holders here and using these holes on the end right here and inserting our long rods into them, one like that and the other like that. Now we can take our hammer and make sure that they're nice and tight. Now let's go to the other end and do the same thing down here and make sure that you have these ends pointing in the same direction that you had them pointing on this one right here. So right now they're facing down. So right here, I'll come, I'll come over here and have them facing down as well. One in there and the other in here and then hammering them in place. And you can see on this first one here that I actually missed a little bit and I knocked away a piece of plastic chunk right here. So make sure you're hitting directly above where that bar is going to be and try not to miss so you don't break yours like I did mine. It hasn't hurt its functionality at all, but I did do a little bit of damage right here and I'm gonna be more careful moving forward as I put the rest of these together. But once one of them is together, it should be looking like this and the woven fabric should be nice and taut. And now let's move on and do that for all of them. Now, once we have these all created, we're going to set one down as the bottom rack like this. Then we're going to open up our short rods here, take four of them and insert them into the vertical holes right here. Two there and two over here. Now we'll take our next rack and insert it on top of those short poles like this. Now we can once again take our little hammer and hammer them down together. And now they should be sticking together like this, and we're going to repeat this process all the way up. Now you can see how I've made four layers so far. Just continue to repeat this process until it's all the way up to the top. And once we're done and we have all of them put together, it should be looking like this. And now we can take our rack of hooks here and we can place it on any of the arms to where it's hanging like that. You can just pick and choose which one you want and it'll slide off and it can hang on the next one very easily. Now just to give you an idea of how much space this is going to take up, it's about 12 inches deep just over 33 inches wide and about 55 and a half inches tall. And even when it's all put together, it's extremely lightweight and easy to move. I can even do it just with one hand here. So there you go. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you how to put this shoe rack together. And if it has, let me know.